Hi. Before I start this video, I just want to say, Hi, Zeke. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not watching anybody else's videos, so I don't know how everybody reacted to the uh, pot video I made last night. So, I have no rebuttal here. This is I have no idea what anybody else said, and to be perfectly honest, it's not really important. This video <clears throat> is simply a video to teach me how the, how the boil times are between the titanium pot and the aluminum pot. And that's all I'm doing here. So I don't know what anybody else said, and I don't care. So this may look a little odd. Maybe somebody said something I looked a little... No. I'm, I'm working with myself here. And I'm going to continue to do that. So all my videos from here on are going to have nothing to do with what anybody else says. What they're going to have to do is with what I said. So... <clears throat> This is a little different style. No rebuttals here, no, because, honestly, I'm not playing that game anymore. <laughs> so, let's look at the video. Zeke, what are you doing? Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and tonight I'm performing a very accurate boil test. The very best I could do. And what I did was, I used a chicken waterer to feed an M2 stove. I got it set up and I let it run for 20 minutes to make sure the flame was as steady as it could be and it all stabilized. Then I put a stopwatch and a pot on here with a camera right on it real time and let it run to see how long, real time, how long it took to boil one cup of 7 degree, 70 degree water. Now I made sure the water was exactly the same batch, 70 degrees for everything, and I did the boil test on two pots. Uh, Snow Peak 600 and a regular Foster's pot. Uh, I'm going to do some more later, but I'll, I'm going to show you these first two. It was a fair amount of work to set them up, put everything in, speed everything up, and I pretty much ran out of memory on my card that was in there, but I did finish these two tests. So let's take a look at it. It's kind of neat. Okay, so I got four minutes for one and three minutes and 35, 40 seconds for the other. I'm going to say if you did this over and over again, that there'd be a variation there, and I think one would go one way, one would go the other. I think in the end, I'm going to say that they're equal. I'm not going to say one is really any better than the other. I could jump on this and say, ah, 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 no, titanium, aluminum, it's basically the same. The difference is, if you buy the pot all built, with the ring in it so it's nice, wide mouth, wrapped with a lid and everything, it's going to cost you the same as the titanium pot. And my point is the titanium pot boils the same speed as a beer can, which I didn't think would be that way. I thought the titanium would be slower, but I haven't seen that. Uh, now I'll try the Heineken pot tomorrow and uh, maybe another pot or Snow Peak 700. 
But basically my point here is, as near as I can tell, they're about all the same as far as boil time. And the Snow Peak 600 is obviously a superior pot as far as durability and just overall usability. It's a nice wide open pot. It's the right size. It's flat bottomed. And it's very durable. So I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Get out and hike, take a friend, enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, have a really great day. And I forgot to say, you can also, if you want to go the basic on this, you can do it for six cents. That's something to look at because this is a six cent pot here. Here, right from the Redemption Center. Bye bye.